Hi folks! A Pelche module can do heating and cooling without any moving parts. I'll show you how I used it to turn this water into ice. I'll also show some efficiency measurements I did. You can buy Pelche modules from a variety of places online or from electronic stores. But I found my module in this hot and cold water dispenser. The water is heated in here using heating elements, but the cooling is done in here using a Pelche module, which is located back here somewhere. I started by removing and analyzing enough electronics to know which parts were for the heating side and which were for powering the Pelche module. I then removed the fan and then the heat sink to finally find the Pelche module itself. It was also the same size as many of the ones you can buy online and smaller than I'd hoped for, but still useful for some fun experiments. And here's what I ended up with. The power cord, the transformer for converting from 120 volts AC to 12 volts AC, and a convenient on-off switch. That powers this control board, which converts the 12 volts AC to 12 volts DC, and does some other stuff. Here's the Pelche module, attached to a heat sink and fan, all powered through the control board. There's even an LED that lights up when the Pelche module is working and what looks like a thermocouple to tell the control board to stop powering the Pelche module if the water is cooled enough. And here's the Pelche module on its own. All you do is connect it to a power supply, the positive to the red wire and the negative to the black wire. As electricity flows through it, heat is transferred from this side to this side, causing this side to heat up while this side gets cold. You need some way of taking the heat away from the hot side. That's done here by putting the hot side on this heat sink, a big chunk of aluminum. Some thermal paste is put between them to help with the heat transfer. The aluminum heat sink easily takes up the heat. Meanwhile, this fan sucks air through the heat sink's fins, carrying that heat away into the air. Time to make some ice. I put the Pelche module, heat sink, and fan up on these jars to allow air to flow away from the fan. I then put some water on the cooling side of the Pelche module. I plug it all in and turn on the switch. Notice that the LED lights up. The Pelche module must be doing its thing. I also put the thermocouple in this glass of water. That's to trick the control board into thinking that the water isn't cold enough yet and to keep on working, even though the real water is over here being frozen. And three minutes later, it's turned to ice. Cool. I wanted to see what kind of efficiency I could get with a simple setup to cool water. First, I needed to know how much voltage and current it needs. So I disconnected the wires going from the control board to the Pelche module. I connected in some wires of my own. I then connected my oscilloscope in parallel with those, so I can see if there was any funky waveform in the voltage. I also connected an ammeter in line with the positive side to measure the current. For the water, I removed the top of a soda can and flatten the bottom as much as I could. I placed a piece of aluminum I cut on top of the Pelche module. I sat the can on top of that, and then I insulated the heck out of it. I put 250 milliliters of water in the can, and put in a thermometer that could measure cold temperatures. I turned it all on, and made my observations. The water started out at around 18 degrees Celsius. The current on the 10 amp scale was around 3.8 amps. The voltage was around 13.1 volts, and as you can see, there was some ripple on top. As an afterthought, I closed up the top too. After one hour, the temperature had dropped by only 4 Celsius, down to around 14 Celsius. That cooling is my output, and amounts to 3,655 joules. The input energy from the electricity is 179,280 joules. That gives an efficiency of 2%. Since the Pelche modules are only around 5% efficient, the rest is losses. It's about what I'd expected. If you're curious about the details of the energy calculations, I've put a link in this video's description to the page on my website where you can see them. Well, thanks for watching. See my YouTube channel, Rimstar Org, for more videos like this. That includes one where I do the opposite with the Pelche module and use it to generate electricity. One on how to make a crystal radio, one that gets its power from the radio waves themselves, and one with a science experiment to determine if cold water boils faster than hot, along with an explanation. And don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos, or give a thumbs up, or leave a question or comment below. See you in a bit.